Okay, we're back out here. Uh, it's the first week in July. It's been a kind of a cool summer so far. It's uh, I'm in basically on the Friendship side of uh, the Union side of Columbia, but it's supposed to be Smithton, the Friendship. And uh, once you get past this point right here, it's called Parish Road. That's where a lot of the people were. You know, we call it parishing. <laughs> These are the uh, grouseberries, and actually this is the second second time I've been out here, so they're tasting better. So apparently it has something to do with, like I said, the first batch is a little on the uh, bland side. Not quite like the uh, raspberries. So here we are with the grouseberry, or gooseberry. But if you're from the Dutch area, it's called a grouse. And uh, a lot of people call them gross. Like I said, I made the mistake of saying that, but that's not the correct pronunciation there. They're pretty decent berries once you let them, uh, you, you get them when it's, you know, when they're ready. <laughs> so here we go. And I'm picking some right now because I'm out here doing the uh, third harvest of the raspberries too. So we're going to do what we call the, uh, the gauntlet. When I come out here and pick whatever I can get that's ready to go so I can have something to eat. So here's how many I got so far. This is... Basically, only a few minutes of being out here. Uh, I'm Dr. Glenn Monroe, the Roman gnome. Roman gnome apothecary, whatever you want to call it. Man of many skills. <laughs> but my main interest is, well, this right here. So, I thought I'd share this with you. As you can tell, this is a member of the, uh, it's a thorny brush, a scrub plant. It's got thorns on it. As you can tell, see there? So, yeah, it is a little more, uh, you know, it's a defensive plant, of course, probably because of the berries. You know, who's to say a reason why a lot of plants become defensive? Probably the same reason, like, people do. But, uh, this is what they look like. Like I said, this is the first week of July 2014. Central Missouri, I'm in the Ozarks, of course. And, uh, as I'm doing these, I'm also charting on the maps where all this stuff is. And I'm going to throw some of these seeds as I travel as well. You know, you know when you eat them and you use the bathroom someplace. I try to do it outside, of course, because, well, I know that sounds kind of weird, but you pass the seeds of the uh, berries, and uh, well, I guess what happens. Same way these got here. When the birds eat them or the animals deposit them or they just drop and fall and roll down this hill, they have an opportunity to continue growing. So, anyhow, I thought I'd share that with you, the synonymous gooseberry. Like I said, we call it the grouse. A grouse is a bird. I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. But anyhow, I said I thought I'd document this for you and post this on my, uh, my little YouTube channel. Maybe somebody can get some good information from this and, you know, maybe it might help you guys and gals. But I don't see a lot of men doing this hardly anymore, and uh, it's kind of a tragedy. So that's why I'm kind of like wanting to dedicate my life to uh, teaching the men. You know, I think some things that they need to know as far as survival and uh, being a healthy, having a healthy home. So yeah, this is a uh, this is pretty much what it looks like from uh, you know just walking through. That's what's left of the raspberries. I think we've missed that. We're gonna look for some more. Well, we've had a cool summer, and I think it's just gonna be a cold winter. So right now, you know, use your brain. The summer's been kind of cool, and you know, if you're up north and the winter comes here and you ain't had a healthy, you know, harvest, you know, your chances of survival are gonna be pretty much nil. You're gonna have a hard time. So anyhow, I thought I'd show you what these plants look like. And uh, you need to get out there and get some, but don't just throw the seeds in the trash. And if you have the opportunity to use the restroom outside after you've eaten these, by all means, please do. Some place where you know that these will continue growing for future generations. I know that sounds kind of, like I said, once again, unhygienic or gross, but that's the way it is. 